Hello everyone, my name is Nomis and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid. We are picking up here shortly after our last episode. Just stopping off at the gas station here to fill up our tank. Uh, in the last episode we had another close call. Had another um, injury on our hand. Uh, a laceration this time. Uh, ended up uh, losing a pair of gloves uh, due to tearing them up uh, unintentionally. Uh, but we did have a backup pair at the uh, base, so we are back up and running with our full uh, protection uh, outfit here, or as protected as we can be at this stage. I'll uh, just let this finish filling up. Uh, we're going to be heading back to that uh, community of houses that we were searching at the end of last episode. We'll be a little bit more careful this time around. Make sure we don't take... Uh, too many unnecessary risks. That last scratch did happen while we were playing around with our gun. Let zombies get a little bit too close to us. So we're gonna try and avoid that today. We've got the fire axe out today, so that's gonna be our probably our main weapon. We might get the the pistol out again, but we'll try and keep zombies at arm's length for a while. And we are still working towards our level 7 axe skill. Which we're quite close to getting. We're 500 XP away, so... If not today, maybe in the next episode. There are still a fair number of zombies in this area. Not right here, but... A little bit further up the road. We'll probably be running into... Some larger groups, like this. I think we're just going to bypass them. Just go right to our destination. Or we'll end up spending half an episode there. So we ended last episode uh, by searching the last three houses on the north side of the block. Yeah, these first three here. So let's start this episode off by doing the first three on the south side. Take some pills. And then uh, once we're done with this area, we're going to be thinking about making our move down to Martridge. Setting up another base of operations down there as our next challenge. One of the few places that Gerald has yet to see. Be Martridge and then Mulder actually will be the last place to hit up. We've only really seen the outskirts of Mulder in this season. We got through the majority of them all. Um, I haven't read your comments yet. Uh, in case there's any comments you left me about places we still need to check out in the mall. Uh, but there, if if there are, we will definitely get around to checking those out. I think we were pretty thorough, though. Got to the majority of the hot spots. Not much in this house. Some black hair dye. You know what? to celebrate finishing up a, a new area. Let's dye our hair. We'll dye our faux, or not our faux hawk, but our mohawk black. I can't remember, does that use up all the black dye? No, it uses up a portion. We'll keep the blonde beard for now. All right, let's throw that back on. And we'll check out the kitchen. Not much in this house at all. Bathroom here? Yeah, pretty empty. Okay, we are a little bit hungry, so 
Let's have a seat. And I brought a couple stir fries with us today. We'll eat half of this. We can check our bandage after. Uh, we're back to losing weight, so... Really need to start gaining some weight here. Before we dip underneath 70. And there we go, that laceration is now healed. Perfect. Put that away. That. Okay, so first I was done. Let's check out the next one here. All the zombies that are currently in this area are here because of that last helicopter event we had. Uh, ended up happening a little bit earlier in the day than we were expecting. Usually we're happening in the afternoon or evening. But that last one ended up uh, showing up around 10 o'clock, I think. So we were trying to get some gas and then uh, at the gas station, and then all of a sudden, a helicopter was on top of us. Because usually, we'd like to be far away from our current area of operation by the time that thing rolls around. Scarf Long John Bottoms. I think we'll take the, uh, we'll keep the full Long Johns that we currently have. Yeah, two things along John Bottoms. Oh, and a storage room. That is pretty much empty except for another watering can. I think we've got four now for our little fishing shack. Speaking of the fishing shack, we will have some more crops. Uh, to harvest here in the next couple days. They're already um, blooming and ready to harvest. Uh, health is a little low though on a few of them, so we're gonna let them continue growing for another couple days, I think. Lots of empty homes. Don't know if we're gonna find much near. Just throwing stuff into the backpack for now. We'll take out our secondary bag if we need it. But if we're not going to be finding too much, we'll probably get away with just the backpack. Okay, so I think that's the three houses down on the south side. Yeah. Alright, so we got one, two, four houses left on this block. Let's see how quickly we can make our way through these. You know what, I'm gonna swap out our hand torch for this one. Since ours is low on battery, we'll just do a quick swap there. Not too much for food in these places. Do have a pipe wrench though, we'll grab that and some wire. Got the nightstick on our, our our belt this time around instead of a pipe wrench. Yep, got our baseball bat here, we'll grab that. Some 
some more soap. And that's another house. Okay. Three more. We got a group of zombies out here too, so let's clear these out first. Watches. A few watches actually. I got one in here. Several out at the intersection. We can probably avoid them though. And we don't have much room left in our backpack, so let's pull out. Our secondary bank, yeah? We'll still get our axe skill from using our hand axe. There's a little bit of food. Not much though. Oh, some liquids. I think Gerald will probably celebrate with a, uh, a bottle of wine once he's done with this area. It's quite the ordeal. Surviving them all. So aside from this block, I think down at the end, if we turn south, there's a few more brick houses that we can check out. All right, there's a few in here somewhere. Some more soda. Must be upstairs. Or they could be outside too in the back. I think they're upstairs, though. Probably in these rooms. Yeah. Looks like he's wearing, uh... Is he wearing long johns? Yeah, he is. Quick. Oh, and there we go. Leather gloves in here. If we had only searched a few more houses yesterday, we would have found them. That seems to be the way that Zomboid goes. We're out of water, so let's fill up our bottle. We have several more bottles in our backpack, but we'll fill up our main one. And with the uh, temperatures cooling down now, we could probably do with dropping off. Maybe just going back down to two or three bottles of water. Probably don't need to be carrying six on us. Okay, one more house. And we'll be done the block. And the door's already open. Did we actually make it into this one? In the last episode, we might have. Maybe we made it to four. Yeah, I think we have been here, actually. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, that's the third house there. Okay. Cool. Uh, a little bit drowsy. Let's take the car back. Down this road. Yeah, we got a few more houses here. And not a zombie in sight. I think we could safely sleep over here tonight.
some rotten pie. Okay, nothing else there. There we go. Salt and vinegar. We'll leave the dead mouse this time. Some more duct tape. Be perfect for repairing our machetes. Let's check this front closet. Nothing. Yeah, I think we'll sleep in this uh, on this block tonight. We're gonna be heading into our third winter, guys. It's crazy. I think as of October, is it October where we can't forge anymore? Or is it November? Maybe it's November. Check that one, okay. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it. So let's grab these cigarettes. It's a different layout for the second floor. I was expecting the <laughs> stairs to be on the other side. Okay, so we got two more houses down there. And two over there. Oh, this door is open. Again, I don't think we're going to be finding any books that we need. I think we've got everything now. you no thank you all the doors are open people were getting out of here fast yeah one thing I am looking forward to with uh, summer ending not sweating so much not going through quite as much water. We made Gerald suffer through the entire summer <laughs> wearing all his gear. And it really wasn't too bad. I think he dropped weight a lot faster. We had to get creative with uh, some bath towels. Went through a lot more water, but overall far more protected. So we did have several close calls where we heard the scratch noise, but didn't actually get, nothing actually penetrated the, the armor. of armor. What's our tailoring at? We're halfway to nine. So we could probably pick a, uh, a couple days to just focus on doing some more sewing and get that level nine and repatch everything. Get those few extra or that one extra percentage point of bite protection. Hold on, this foundation makeup here. We haven't done this in a while. Let's grab this. There's apparently no mirror in here. Let's go find a mirror. Here. And let's put on some makeup here. We'll do full face. Uh, camo? Which 
Which one should we do? The skull? Yeah, let's do the skull. Alright, cool. Gerald is the agent of death. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, let's put this on for now. Um, we checked the kitchen, right? Yeah, that's where we came in. Okay, we're tired. Uh, it's the last house on this side. We'll search this house and then we can sleep in that house. Got some uh, bathroom items on the floor here. Oh, we got a bathroom zombie. Not too bad for how tired we are. Another radio. Um, since it's almost top of the hour, let's find the emergency broadcast here. See what the weather's gonna be like tomorrow for looting. Since we're here. High of 19 today. Uh, tomorrow, oh, a bit warmer, 23. Clear skies. Light fog, okay. Oh, thunderstorm, three days. All right, good to know. So is that three days from today or three days from tomorrow? Uh, we're seven days into the helicopter cycle, so. We should be getting that storm just before uh, the helicopter shows up at the earliest. house here and we can sleep as long as there's no one in there made it to 8 30 and as long as there's no alarm all right there is someone in here yeah right there we can push him over Good. That's another one. Ooh. Let's grab both those. It must be upstairs. More cigarettes. All right, I'm, I'm just gonna go back to the other house. We're very tired. We don't need to get caught up into an unnecessary fight right now. Told you we're gonna be a little bit more careful. We know this house is clear. Uh, let's just find a good bed. There, that's what I'll do. Very peaceful out there. Okay, so we're a bit hungry. Let's finish up this stir fry we had half of earlier. Nice. Let's 
So we're third full on that. Um, let's transfer some things over from our backpack that we looted earlier. Soap, wire, and a pepper. Okay, let's get to sleep here. And there's our light fog. Let's go finish the upstairs of this last house. And we'll take a drive around and see what else there is. If there's anything else we missed. If there aren't any more homes, uh, then we can probably head back to the mall parking lot. Do an overview of the cars there. That's why I like our car. It's very quiet. It is getting pretty beat up. So we might want to uh, see about a replacement. More soap. Knock. Okay, nothing. Right on. Let's get to the car. Bag is half full. Oh, did we check this closet? Yeah. Actually, let's take a look at the hood. Under the hood. So it definitely looks pretty rough. Alright, our uh, left brake. Getting kind of low there. Engine still uh, pretty good. We're under 30 for engine loudness. Our muffler is still holding in. So really just the hood, uh, the trunk is pretty beat up, hood windshield, and then our front tires. Looks worse than it is. Alright, I'm going to take a couple of these tea bags with us. We still have our hot cuppas in here. Let's head up this road. So I don't think we've driven up here. Uh, we haven't checked that trailer. So let's take a quick look in here. There is a mini fridge. Potential for ice cream. Ooh, avocado. That's high in fat. Let's take that. Throw that into a salad. Alright, moving on. What did we not see over here? Oh, we're at a road. Maybe there isn't anything else over here to see. Uh, let's go down this path a little ways. Maybe it's a cabin. Oh no, it's just that road that picks up there. Okay, I think we went down that road before. I think uh, just up there is where I found the propane tank and generator. Alright, so I think we're done with this general area. Let's go over back to the mall parking lot. Uh, and we're going to pull out another bottle of water here. I think I need to put a frying pan away. Nope. Let's trade that off. Okay. 
let's head back. Let's get around this group. Yeah, we're not too concerned about these groups of zombies. We're, we're done with this neighborhood. So we'll just bypass that. There's cars on the, uh, what side would that be? The south side of the mall that we never really looked at. Let's head down there. I think like anything beyond the corner of the mall, we never really paid too much attention to. All right, so we got one here. Let's take a quick look. It actually looks pretty good condition. And it is a survivor vehicle. Engine now does a 52. Uh, Cause it has a old muffler. Engine quality is 56. So the engine quality is around the same as ours. So this has a multiplier of 1.32. Whereas ours is probably like 1.06, 1.08. So the engine quality is actually higher on that car. So what happens if I uninstall this, throw it on that car? How low can we get that engine quietness down? So this one's 29 with the muffler. 54 without. It's actually still pretty quiet without. It's 52 with an old muffler. We did a little bit of damage to our performance muffler there. Uh, we do have more performance mufflers though at the front that we uninstalled off of other cars. All right, let's put this one on. So that engine allowed us went up to 80 without a muffler. Down to 43, so this is actually quieter than our car. We got performance brakes, performance suspension, value tires, small gas tank. You know, I might be tempted to just take this car, just swap out our tires. It is locked though. Can I uninstall a window? I need the key. All right, let's bust this window. And it does have an alarm, of course. All right. Well, we got that out of the way. That was bound to happen at some point. So that'll draw the uh, zombies over from up top. We'll come back to this area. Let's continue checking out some more cars. That one looks pretty beat up. I think we'll go back to that car though. We're now driving without a muffler. Maybe I should just throw this one on. Just to make it a little bit quieter. It's still a very quiet car regardless though. Oh damn, 35, what? Oh, was the other one? Oh, was this 29 before? For some reason I thought it was 49. Never mind, I think this one's still vastly quieter with the performance muffler. Sorry, I had a brain fart there. Okay, let's keep looking around here. I 
That one looks pretty beat up. Yeah, uh, this one doesn't though. This is like our um, our old white car. Yeah, this one's gonna have an alarm too. Right, engine loud is twenty five. I don't think we've ever used a wrench to kill a zombie. Why is our health going down? Is it a heavy load? If we're carrying the mufflers? Performance brakes, regular suspension, regular tires. This one's got a performance muffler though. But this is probably even smaller. Trunk, 38. What's ours? 26 right now, but it's down to 50 some percent. Uh, and of course that one has an alarm too, okay. I gotta turn these alarms down. Hold on. There's no actual alarm volume. There's a horn volume. So I turn that down. Alright, this is another good car. This one's got the key. Maybe our car is going to be the best option. Okay, so... Actually, let's unlock the trunk. Let's see what parts this has. Average muffler. Rigor brake. Rigor suspension. Value tire. Alright, so not it's good. And that thing goes for a long time. We got a truck up there. Alright, finally it stopped. That was a very annoying one though. Yeah, that's pretty beat up. Uh, might just be those cars in at the back. We put a couple mufflers on the ground. I wonder if I can find those again. Through all the uh, burnt ashes here. Don't remember exactly where we put them. Or what cars we pulled them off of. Car doesn't look too bad. Bit banged up. That's got performance muffler. Okay, I'm gonna take this one. I think our car might be the best option still. Swap out this old one. Yeah, because this one's quite quiet. I got my numbers all mixed up. I thought the other one was quiet. But once we throw this on, the loudness, I think, goes down to 29. Performance 
Muffler 74%. We'll drop this old one. Yeah, 28. Much better. Uh, let's grab the hood off of this. And we'll grab the windshield. Throw those on our car. Save us from having to repair this. Use up valuable propane. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Uh, if anything, we could just take parts off of that other vehicle at the back of the mall as a performance muffler for a heavy duty. Yeah, I think we're fine for now. Okay, so uh, let's continue on here. Got a bit of time left in today's show. Let's get our water out. Arcturus has a new chew toy that he's eagerly playing with. That's what that thumping is in the background. It's one of those, uh, what is it, like a, a cow knee? Quite enjoys them. Right, let's get around the wreck. Maybe we'll get lucky down in Marchers and find a trailer. Wouldn't that be cool? Still interested to see exactly how much we could fit inside a trailer once we find them. Stop quickly for a bite to eat. Uh, there were quite a few zombies on this road the last time we came through here. That was before setting off the siren, though. Oh, and there are still a number. Oh, wow. Hell yeah, there are. Okay. Well, maybe we won't go that way. Let's go around. Oh, God. Bug out. Watch out for light poles. Yeah, there are a lot over here. Jeez. See a hand axe there. Do you guys see any katanas or machetes? That'd be worth going back for. So I think from here, our plan, since that road back there is pretty congested, uh, is to maybe head back to the other base, the old base, in the town, just uh, across the way. Let's just quickly fill up our water. Uh, let's drop stuff off here as well. I think I'm running out of storage again. Uh, maybe we'll just drop stuff off on the ground down here. Alright, let's just dump all this here. We'll worry about it later. Okay. Let's get water. Uh, right now, we're a little bit tired. Maybe we just sleep here. We come back in the morning. Let's turn that off. 
Oh, I could show you the uh, fishing shack. Guess we could probably harvest those crops. And show you where I set up the pinball machine. It's a good way to kill time. Alright, so we got the pinball machine set up out here. Mainly because there's uh, really no room inside. We do have some potatoes ready to harvest. So yeah, they're going to go rotten in 24 hours. So let's go ahead and harvest these seed-bearing potatoes. Uh, we got eight from that. Uh, I should check the health of these, though. Yeah, 97.5. That's pretty high. They were in the uh, 70s before. Uh, cabbage, we need to water that. Let's harvest our carrots. These ones are 100% health. Awesome. And I think this stuff still has ways to grow. Seedling potatoes, young tomatoes. Dump our seeds up here. So 18 more carrots, 14 potatoes. Oh, I have way too many carrots. I have all those in the fridge. I have another 25 in the freezer. There are 41 in this freezer. Eek. <laughs> we're never gonna get through all that. Uh, let's see where we're gonna put our potatoes. Let's put some in here. Actually, they'll all fit in there. Let's check the fuel. Oh, we lost uh, one of our traps there. 58%. Okay, let's turn that off. Top it up. Looks like we need to bring more gas cans over here. Alright, 88%. We can work with that. Take those back with us. Let's do a little bit of foraging for just animals and mushrooms. Kill some time, trying to get a little bit more tired. There's our foraging skill, halfway to level nine. Um, I think once you get to level eight, I don't think there's anything else that you can unlock once you get to nine and ten. I guess you just find stuff faster, or more of it. I'm not really sure. Alright, cool. Alright, we are ridiculously tired now. Let's put our few mushrooms in the fridge. Poisonous one can go in the compost. Which we do have a tiny bit of compost now. fish bait up here yeah so we're up to seven fishing rods three fishing net traps uh, the majority of our fishing rods uh, were found in the mall top up water and let's get to bed here once we're done panicking So a couple more days and we'll have a storm. All right, sleep. Yeah, I want to go check out our old base and uh, see if we can't get up to that gas station again. Pick up our katanas that we had left behind in a rush. There we go. Drop off our girdle. Our griddle. 
Let's grab some more meals. We'll have one of these. Breakfast. Still have that one. Okay. Let's head out here. So I'll cut back uh, once we're in the car on the road. So once again, uh, a lot of zombies over here by the bridge. It's one of their favorite places to come back to, no matter how many we kill down there. Seems like every week there's another group. Oh, and we got a huge group here. Jesus. Okay. Damn. So, all right. We're going to have to fight our way out of this corner of the map. So the other road is blocked off. So is this one. Again. Well, let's do what we can here without machete and katana. up there. What you got in your bag? Just a pen. Yeah, jeez. wonder if that was from the helicopter too. Definitely gonna get more exhausted quicker using the axe. This is the machete, and there we go. There's our exhaustion. So let's grab a quick reprieve here before this one catches up to us. Any moment we can. Alright, we got another significant group here, so. Try and catch 10 minutes. Take another bit of blocker while we're sitting here. Keep an eye on our water. Uh, we do have the shotgun in the car too. Maybe once we get to a more open area, we can pull that out. Maybe up by the racetrack. Call them down. Well, at the very least, it's giving us more XP into our our axe skill. So we can get that leveled up faster. And how far we got? Oh, still got uh, 450 to go. Okay, we're not getting it today. Not getting it in the next episode. It's a bit of a ways. Oh, jeez. Yeah, there's a lot over here. Okay, I'm going to have to get out the shotgun. And that's just going to draw everyone in this area over. wonder if we'll have to do a burn. Either that or it's spending the next few days. Oh god, that's a lot. Sergeant's gonna come back here soon. Yeah. Alright, we 
we got this. Oof. What did that give us? <laughs> 30. Yeah. Gonna be a while. Oh boy. Uh, a little wary of sit on the ground. See one back here. Just keep swiveling around. Last day of September. Heading into fall. Okay, let's try that. Let's try and do one more group for today's episode. One more big group. Alright, that's not too bad. Uh, Axe is actually kind of low in condition as well. We should take a look at that, see how far down it actually is. It's worth fixing. I think it is. back up to 100%. Alright. Call the next group down. And take a pill. Eye back here because that alarm. So we're going to try and fight our way back to the highway. Might um, not all get done today. Get back there. We'll then try to push north again to the uh, the gas station. Fight through those hordes. Get our katanas. And I, th I think there was a couple katanas and maybe a machete or maybe two. So it's definitely worth our while going back up there. Uh, and then take a look at these storage units. That we never got around to looking at. And then we can think about going to Martridge. So I'd say... I mean, judging by this road here how many zombies are here we might still be in this end of the map for another couple weeks maybe by mid-october we can think about making the move down to Martridge god look at that yeah maybe we do a burn in that field Could use a shotgun then as well. So that's a fairly open field there. Let's go around the perimeter here, see if we can get uh, a little bit further into the field, see how wide open it is. Alright, another axe. Let's snag this. Awesome. That would work. 
Okay, I think that's gonna be the plan then for the next episode. Doing a burn down there. Let's chop down a tree here. We can get a campfire kit ready. We're actually gonna saw these up. Uh, Cause someone pointed out that uh, we could make more campfire kits if we saw up the logs versus just using the logs themselves. Back when we were prepping the circle of cars around the uh, emergency vehicle. So yeah, campfire kit is three planks versus two logs. So we'll have our campfire kit ready to go. Uh, I am going to need some ripped clothing. Okay. So we're ready to go here for a burn. So that will do it for this episode, guys. Uh, stay tuned. More Zomboid to come. We'll be doing a burn here to clear out uh, this bit of the map just uh, east of the dragway. Uh, we'll be using the shotgun to rally zombies up. Uh, we'll get this campfire placed down and we'll let the barbecue begin. So leave me those comments down below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed today's show. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Uh, leave me those uh, uh, comments about how you found the channel down below. Until next time, I'll talk to you all later.